All right, Jeff Will here, realizing that I labeled a bunch of lines on this particular problem, and instead, I think the question that was going to be asked was, let me get some light on here, yeah, um, the forwarding unit. What does it take in? What does it put out? Well, coming from the OR instruction, our S is going to be 8, our T is going to be a 2. Get that a little bit better there. It's an 8 and a 2. Remember, these are 5-bit signals. Okay, then forwarding unit here, store word does not write back. So this is going to be a zero and it can never cause a hazard. The destination register here is actually ambiguous. Um, whether or not we muxed out RT or RD, well, we would have most likely muxed through RT because there's no RD field in a store word. So we're going to assume this was RT that got buffered along. And in this case, our S is 14, our T is 10. So it doesn't really matter what goes in there because it's not writing back. Then finally, what's the destination register here? The destination register is a two. And since it's a set less than, set less than writes back and there's gonna be a one. All right. So we don't care if 10 matches anything, but here's the big thing. The alarm goes off because 2 and 2 are matching, and we indeed write back. So that means that we can go with a 0, 0 on the A mux. Okay, so the A mux has no problem, 0, 0 for the default. And then we've already kind of covered this, but we need to forward the write back Okay, the right back line, which is 0, 1, this MUX input is 0, 1, so we're going to want to output a 0, 1. I can also put that down here, and there we go. So if we concentrate on just the forwarding unit, here's all the inputs. Remember, these are the destinations in the right back and the mem file. These are the uh, arguments for the EX uh, instruction. These are the arguments for the EX instruction, 8 and 2, and then we have 10 and 2 as destinations. Remember, this isn't really a destination. It doesn't write back. This is actually the value that gets written to memory.